In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called flatten a multi-level doubly linked list. So we're given a doubly linked list. We want to flatten this multi-level doubly linked list into a single level, right? So you can see here we have an example of a doubly linked list, multi-level doubly linked list, where you can see the node not only have a previous pointer and a nest pointer, but also have a child pointer. So what we're going to do is that we're going to flatten this. So you can see this node has a child node. So this child node has a point to node 7. This node 7 also has a has a, a link list, and in this case, this link list also has a uh, has another level, right? So we want to flatten this into one level. So in this case, you can see we have no three point no seven, no seven point no eight, no eight point no eleven, no eleven point no twelve, no twelve point two. In this case, dot nest is point no nine, and no nine, no ten, and then four, five, six, right? So we're basically trying to merge this list into one into one list, right? So in this case, to solve this problem, and, and you can see we also have another example like this, where we have a link list like this. And in this case, this link list, um, what we have to do is we do the same thing, right? We basically flatten this node. In this case, this node has a child node of node 3. So we flatten this so we get node 1 point to node 3, node 3 uh, also point to node 2, right? Because it's a doubly linked list, we want to make sure we have node 1 dot previous null and no three dot previous one no two dot previous three right so in this case um to solve this problem what we can do is that we can perform our dfs right so in this case what we can do is that if the current node we're going to traverse the, the link list of course but if the current node dot child is not null we're going to perform our dfs to flatten that right so in this case you can see here we're starting from this node we know that this node is not a um a multi-level or in this case does not have a child so we're going to continue so once we visit this node, in this case, this node does not have a child, so we continue. Once we visit a node that has a child node, so we're going to perform our DFS to flatten that, um, in this case, flatten the, the, the multi-level, right? So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to do our DFS, and we start to visit node 7. In this case, we're going to do a DFS for this node's child, right? So in this case, we have node 7. Node 7, in this case, doesn't have... A, the child node, so we're going to do no eight. No eight has a child node, so we're going to do our DFS to its its node's child node, right? In this case, no eleven. No eleven does not have a child node, so we continue. No twelve does not have a child node, so we continue. But the thing is that after we do our DFS, it should return the tail node, right? So once we return the tail node back to no eight, what we're going to do is that we're going to have no eight dot. Uh, we're going to have no twelve, right? So no twelve is like our tail node. So we're going to use this tail node um, dot nest is equal to current node dot nest, which is node nine. And then we also going to get node nine dot prev is equal to the tail node, which is node, um, in this case, node 12, right? And then what we're also going to do is that we're also going to change node eight. In this case, node eight dot nest should not equal to node nine. It should equal to node 11. So we're going to get node eight dot nest is equal to node 11 and node eight dot child should equal to null right so we basically flatten that and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, basically merge this list into one right so it should go like this right so no 8 point no 11 no 11 point no 12 no no 12 point no 9 right and then we continue so we have no 9 no 9 doesn't have a child no 10 does not have a child so we coming back to no 3 no this is the tail node right so now uh, the tail node in this case is going to be node 10, right? So node 10 is the tail node. And then node 10, so node3.nest, uh, so no, uh, the tail node.nest is equal to node3.nest, which is node 4. So we have node 10 points to 4, right? So we should have node 10 points to 4. And node4.prev, it should be node 10. And then we should get node3.nest should equal to node 7, and we should delete that connection. Uh, we also going to get no seven dot pre should equal to no three, right? So we're going to continue like this one by one, right? We're going to perform a DFS if current node has a child node, right? So you can see the code is pretty simple. What we're doing here is we're basically iterating, right? We're performing our DFS. Um, so we iterate. In this case, we check to see if current node does not equal null. If it's not null, we continue to iterate. Pre is equal to node. And then what we're going to do is that if node.child does not equal to null, 
right, then we have to perform our DFS to flatten its children, right, flatten its multi-level uh, child nodes. So in this case, what we're going to do is that we're going to do our DFS, DFS will return tail node. And then the tail.nest is equal to node.nest, right? So just like I mentioned before, we're going to get the, in this case, for example, node 12, node 12 dot nest is equal to no a dot nest which is no nine right and then we're going to see if no dot nest does not equal null if no dot nest does not if it's not null right because there could be a situation where this node is null if it's not null uh we're going to get no dot nest dot prev is equal to tail right so we want to make sure no nine dot prev is equal to no 12. um and then what we're going to do is we're going to modify the, the head node right in this case the head node is no 11 so we're going to get no a dot nest is no is equal to node 11, node 11 dot pre is equal to node 8. So what we're going to happen is that once we change the head node, modify the head node, we're going to reset the pointers. So that we're going to reset the pointer. So the pointer should point to node 9, and node, and then the previous pointer should point to node, 11, uh, node 12, right? So we're starting to traverse starting from here, right? So, the, so after we merge this list, like getting no 12 point and no 9. So our current pointer should point to no 9 and the previous pointer should point to no 12. And the reason why we have a previous pointer here is because in this case, if we have a situation where the current node is null, right? When we hear the previous here and the current is null, we want to return the pre. And the pre is basically keep track of the, the tail node, right? We want to return a tail node. So in this case, you can see this is how we basically solve the problem. And at the end, we're just returning the head head is basically the root node right so this is you can so you can see this is how we solve the problem and the time complexity in this case is big basically big of n where n is number of nodes that we have in our entire um, multi-level double link list right and the space complexity in this one is because because we're not creating an extra node or in this, in this case another extra list we're just basically using constant time uh, for modification so in this case um, sorry, constant, uh, constant, uh, constant space complexity for doing this algorithm, right? We're not creating another uh, link list or something. So the space complexity will be big O of, N, uh, big o of one. So there you have it, and thank you for watching.